I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. Yeah. I'll be working hard, he just want it free. Damn. Be competitive with yourself. If you're a collector or somebody who has a lot of nice timepieces and you want to make sure you take care of them and you're traveling on the go, they I have a watch case or a jury case or jury box, whatever you want to call it. But I actually wanted something that I can kind of take on the go. And the reason is because, well, initially I, I didn't really think of having something like that because I don't think I had enough timepieces in my collection. But as time goes on and as my collection grows... I started looking at it like a little bit differently. So there's a different, there are a few different options for me. This one was a little bit pricey um, for what I was expecting, but it wasn't a lot, lot. But it was still a um, hundred and something, like one twenty or something like that. It might have been even a little bit more, but they lowered it because of a, a online coupon or something like that off Amazon. So this is the actual box itself. This is let me show you the label. This is the label. Hopefully you can read that. That's the skew, everything else. Here's the box. Let's just open it up and see what's inside. Let me see. Put me down here. All right. I did get like a blue and black type color. That's a little cloth. Hopefully you can see it's a little dark. Nice, pa nice packaging. Now, I don't know what the Q stands for, what that means exactly, but, you know, there you go. Nice little buckles. Got that nice soft blue. Nice kind of suede -ish material. It's not actually suede, I don't believe, or Alcantara. I think it's actually, I mean, I can confirm it if somebody wants to know. Kind of just feels more, it feels cushioned, but kind of felt-ish, like, like a bath towel or something. I don't know, really know how to exactly put that. So, how are these in here? Oh, okay, this is cool. Just smack my watch. They just slide out. That's different. So, as you can see, these bumps here, they bend pretty good. They slide right in here. That's pretty nice. Let's start with this. Now, if you watch any of my other videos, you might have heard me say something about not being interested in bust down. Um, it fits pretty well. Any type of bust down uh, time pieces. Had a little change of heart. This is bust down, fully bust down, but it's a 2021, right on the cusp of 22. Date just. Yeah, so. Let me see. This is not one of them bust downs. I'm going to make a video on it if somebody's interested, but it's not one of them bust downs that is basically um, a 1990 Rolex inside of a whole bunch of aftermarket parts. Not at all. This is on a different level, 100%. There you go. Fully bust down. Yeah, this is for a different video. Um, I wish I, I wanted one that had like four slots, but it's all good. Um, I got the three slots. Let's see. Let's buckle this up. <clears throat> one thing that I, I liked about this particular case. I like uh, it would be nice if it was magnetic, but I like that is it buckles like that or snaps in because then, you know, for a fact that it's actually secure. But one of the good things about this particular one is actually the shape of it. So as you can see. It has flat edges. And the reason for that is you wouldn't really think this until after the fact maybe, but when you place it and set it down, it's not going to roll around and all this other stuff. It just lays where you put it. It's not going to roll around and stuff like that. So if you put it on a table, it's very easy in that sense. It has a pretty nice little hard kind of edge to it. It doesn't feel like it's going to smash my watch in. I'm pushing on this cushion here. Um, it feels good. And if you look at it as I'm pressing hard, there's still a nice gap in between the watch face there's a nice gap. So if you put pressure and it gets hit really hard, you have a, it's not really going to hit this area right here. So I like this a lot. I guess uh, in the future, I really only have one more um, timepiece I'm interested in, which is still my day date, but that has to also be brand new. Um, if I'll need another case, obviously, uh, you don't know all my timepieces, but um, I just will need more space. 
So this is pretty cool. I think it's pretty dope. Uh, I definitely recommend it. This is not a sponsored pickup or anything like that. It's something that uh, it's a personal pickup. Man. I like it. I like how these go in and out. Um, I, I, what I do actually like, though, is how flexible this is. Because on some of mine in my, my case, it's so tight. It, like, it won't flex enough where the band is actually in a comfortable fit. It feels like I'm actually really stretching. And if you look at, especially like a Jubilee bracelet, if you're talking about Rolexes, they'll start stretching. I guess it's the metal pin that's inside. They'll start stretching a bit and they'll kind of be loose, right? Over time, when you wear it, it'll start doing that. I guess the pins start bending and whatever. I always thought about, well, when you put it in cases like this, if it's too much tension going on, you might actually be stretching the band as well in a different kind of way. So um, for me, I like it because it takes some of that tension off. They flex very easily. And I don't have a big wrist, as you can see. Um, so with that being said, for even a tight fit, it, these flex pretty well and they work pretty good. So I, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to end the video now. Uh, with that being said, make sure you do everything at top level at your top level. And remember, you're no competition with anybody except yourself. So make sure your next move is your best move or at least your better move. Till next time. Later.